Hey Riley, all right, so for the CO2 setup, this tank here is actually being held here by a couple of band straps, and then you probably can't see it, but that little aluminum bracket right there is actually a power tank bracket. And the way it's plumbed in is this copper line right here, it's painted black, but this copper line actually goes, uh, you probably can't see that very well. It goes all the way from the tank. There's no regulator back there. It goes all the way forward. It goes on top of the frame rail. It goes down below here. Let's see if I can get under there. I don't know if you can see that or not. That copper line goes all the way and it stays all the way in the frame rail. And then I actually cut a hole into the bottom of the floor there for that pipe to come up. From there, comes up through the floor here and this is where I have the regulator right now I put the regulator here so that it wouldn't be exposed to the elements and get all dirty um, and then there's a ball valve here so this can turn it on and off as well as the uh, knob on the tank back there from there it's just a t-fitting and then a jack on one side and a jack on the other now if I was gonna do it over I don't think I would do it this way uh, for a couple of reasons one is I set it up this way because I was too lazy to make a storage tank, a storage box back here I should say. Because right now this is enclosed, I've got a plastic bag over the top there but I don't know, it's a pain in the ass. So the best way to do it as far as I know would be to actually build an aluminum um, storage cargo box underneath here where you can put the tank, the regular regulator right on the tank and then from there it would be a lot easier to plumb in flexible tubing instead of this hard copper line because this stuff here is actually it's flexible but it's just not easy to work with like the same kind of hose that we use for our air compressors um, but this is good I mean it's strong enough to hold like the uh, the thousands or plus PSI that the tank builds up when it starts to get hot so hopefully that helps all right